Before I get to my point, let me go to some scriptures. Let's go to Luke chapter 18. I can't tell you what I want to tell you, but I guess some people want some scriptures and stuff like that. Okay. Let's go to Luke chapter 18 and maybe verses 1 through 6. Are you there? Okay. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. So, pray so much. Don't become, I guess, discouraged or too tired, as in like, as if praying gets on your nerves. Pray as much as you can. Pretty much, I believe that is what it is trying to tell us. Verse 2, saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. Okay, verse three. And there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying, what? Avenge me of mine adversary. So there is a widow telling a judge to avenge her. All right. Verse 4. And he would not for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, Though I fear not God, so a heathen judge, huh? Nor regard man. Verse 5. Yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her. So I will do what she says. Why? Because she will continue <laughs> trying to get me to do what she wants. Verse 5, lest by her continual coming, she weary me. Do you understand what this is pretty much saying here? So I believe what this is saying, in essence, there is a widow and she was coming to a judge asking pretty much telling i guess for the judge to avenge her of her adversary and in this story the judge is a heathen a sinner and the judge was like, well, let me do what she wants because if I don't, she may continue coming back and back and back to me, asking me to do it. So I don't want her to weary me. So let me just do it. Okay. And let's look up the word weary right quick to make sure I am saying that correctly. Okay, feeling or showing tiredness, especially as a result of excessive exertion or lack of sleep. So I pretty much had it right. There was a time some years back something happened and <laughs> I prayed 
about that issue for so long. I think if I were to count how many times I prayed about it, or maybe I should say for how long I prayed for it, I think I have prayed, I think I prayed about whatever was going on around that time so many times or for so long. If I remember correctly, I think there were many times where it seemed like what I was praying for was not going to happen. But I kept on praying. I kept on praying. Now, in the beginning, I was a bit discouraged and I was angry with God and I stopped praying for a while. But after a while, if I remember correctly, I started back praying again. And I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed, even when I saw things as it seemed to me. Let me say it like this. I believe demons will try to get you to lose faith in what you are praying for. I believe I saw evidence that went against what I was praying for. Did I feel discouraged at times? Yes. Did I cry? Did I whatever else like that? Yes, I believe so. But I kept on praying. Maybe after one or two years, maybe more than that, maybe two, two years and some months. I received pretty much what I was praying about. Now, it may have not been as quickly as I like. It may not have been. It may have not gone through the process I may have expected. But the end result was what I wanted. Look now. You may pray about something and expect it to happen so fast. You may be praying about something, but see certain things happening. And whatever is happening may be influencing or getting you to believe what you are praying for is not going to happen. Don't let that discourage you. Continue praying. Going back to my story, I believe I prayed for whatever I was going through for about two years or more. How many of us can go that long and continue praying about something. I think some people get tired and sometimes I get tired about praying for cer certain things as well. But I think many of us may get tired after praying five or six times for something. Learn to continue to pray and do what is right while you are praying for whatever you are praying for. If you really want something, how can I say this? Some people may believe you only have to pray one time. Some people may believe that if it doesn't happen quickly, then God is not going to do it. And where in the Bible does it Say that at. Show me.
Yes, sometimes when you pray, you may get what you want quickly. Sometimes when you pray, it may take a while. Just because you haven't received what you believe you need, does that mean it is not going to happen? You may have been praying for a wife, a husband, a car, or whatever, and you may not have one now. Does that mean God is not going to give you what you are praying for? Listen now. Continue to pray. Like, what is that called? What you need to do is develop, if you don't have one, develop a prayer life. Consistently pray to God. Let me say this. What if there is someone and the only time you talk to that person is when you want something. Like, you don't really try to see how that person is doing. Like, you don't even care. But you only contact that person when you want something. Now, in an earthly sense, how do you believe that is going to make that person feel? When you are only contacting that person when you want something. I think for many people, it is not going to make that person feel too great. So, what option would that person have? If that person doesn't like your behavior, what do you believe that person may do? Probably make you wait, right? Like, hey, this person is doing whatever they want. That person is only coming to me when they want something. So, let me make that person wait. Let me do something to where that person's behavior will change concerning me. Right? What would you do if you noticed there is a person only contacting you when they want something? Now, for myself, <laughs> there are some people that only contact me when they want something. And some of the time, I may, depending on what it is, I may, you know, do what they ask for. But sometimes, I may do something else. Look now. Develop a prayer life. Learn to wait. Maybe the way you are now, if God was to give you, ah, if God was to give you what you want now, it may get you to turn your back against God. So, would that be a blessing? Would that car be a blessing? if it is going to get you to turn your back against God? Would that new home or that husband or that wife or so much money be a blessing if it is going to turn you away from God? Or should I say get you to turn away from God if I am saying that right? 
if having those things will get you to turn away from God, would it be a blessing? I think not. But in the meantime, pray, ask. Kevin, I don't like asking God 100 times, 200 times. I believe after the first time, God should give me what I want. Listen now, if there is a principle that applies to us, that pertains to us in this current time, and if it is something that God wants us to do, shouldn't we do it? Sometimes I pray about things many times. Sometimes, sometimes I pray about the same thing for, for quite a while at times and Many times, I think, too. If God wants us to do it, why not? Kevin, I am tired of doing it. I don't want to do it. You know, God, uh, stop making excuses and just do it. Learn to wait. I had to wait. Yes, I was kind of irritated or angry, I guess, but... I kept on praying about that issue for two years or more, I think. Two years or more. Maybe not every day, but let's say for an extended time period. Pray about the same thing many times if you have to. Stop praying. Ah. Oh. I think there are some people who may wait before they go to sleep, like laying down on their bed or couch or whatever, and perhaps pray seconds before they fall to sleep. And some people may do that every once in a while, but don't really have a prayer life. If you want to get better with things pertaining to God from what I know about it or what I believe is true about it, you have to give God so much time. Kevin, I have kids, I have a job, I have this, I have that. Can't you cut back? Oh, man. Can't you cut back on your hours? Can't you find another job? Can't you do something to where you can give God more time? Well, Kevin, if I cut back on my hours in my job, I won't have as much money, Kevin, and I can't waste my money on clothes, which I have a full closet of clothes already, but I can't buy as many clothes as I normally would. Look now, you have to make sacrifices. Learning about God, spending time in learning about God and his rules is so much more important to me than spending so much time at work. Working is not bad, but if I am going to die, even if I make $1 million, where is that money going to go when I die? Can I take it with me? But if I spend so much time in praying, reading the Bible, and trying to learn about God, 
I believe that is going to be a credit to me, not only on this earth, but in heaven. I am trying to set up my treasures in heaven. Not so much on this earth. Won't much of whatever on this earth burn up, decay, waste away? So why should I place so much effort and so much time in something that is temporary? Let me focus on the eternal more than the temporary, right? Man, let me stop here. God bless you.